My object today was to pick as many tomatoes as I could salvage and uh, pick as many green beans as I could salvage, but we picked these real hard five days ago. Now I've got this ladder in here because I can't quite reach the top here. I'll pick almost all of those. But see, beans like this size, it's better to hope that it doesn't get killed tonight and be able to pick that next week because it's, you waste a lot of time picking all those beans. I'm sure they'd be super tender, but it's not worth the effort for what you get. But I will pick everything like that because that's just a waste to have that freeze tonight if it didn't freeze and hurt them last night. And we'll eat those fresh. Tomato leaves are pretty tender and they should show sign of being hurt by that frost last night and I can't see it right now. Now the tomatoes have a different sheen to them. Let me go over and look at that one close. Now this was our latest green beans that we got planted because the rabbit kept eating them. And see we have a lot of clusters like that. They're just not worth picking. They're just too small. We have tons of flowers. See, that is borderline whether you want to waste your time just going in and pick it. And since all these have the least amount of time on them, we are just going to leave them. And if they don't get hurt tonight, they'll get bigger and we'll get whole beans off of it. I mean, you can tell by the garden, it's 2.15 in the afternoon. And this garden would be in full sun. And see all those trees over there blocking the sun. See, we got some sun over here. The sun is coming from above the tree. And this is where it backs off. And another thing on frost, the pepper plant is pretty tender. And these new leaves are really tender. And I don't really see any damage done to them. Now we have a ton of green peppers in here. We picked the red ones. Some of these have three or four on them. And it's been a good year for us growing peppers. But uh, we're going to leave them in here and just hope that... Uh, we're not going to get any more red ones. But we're hoping to get... Now I'll pick these big old green ones. Because I'm not going to let them spoil. But these others might grow if we just get another week or two of uh, warmer weather. Now I'm standing here on the end of this okra. And I'll be willing to bet that there won't be a half dozen pods in here because it's been cold. And okra is a hot weather plant. And when it gets cold, it just stops producing pods. It just doesn't take up the moisture. And see, the sun is usually over there. Well, it's that way. That way is west. It gets to the northwest at the top of its apex, which is like June the 20th. And then we have September the 20th, where it starts going to the lower side. And see the sun now is up just above that pine tree. And so it's going to go down in that gap between those two trees out there. So this garden's getting less sun. And it's gotten cold at night. And I'll just walk down through here. Hold this up here while I'm walking and try not to be too bumpy but you can see where we've cut all the okras off now that one has a tiny little okra on it but five days see these okra ought to be five six inches long I can't that's the only part I see and see this one has the multiple stalks on it and there's none down here low it's just the cold weather. They're hot weather plants, so they just, it's time to shut down. Now, it's going to get warm again, and it's still got a lot of flowers on it. So we're going to, of course, leave it in the ground. Although they do get tough this time of year. Well, our gazebo is empty of plants, and we had a bunch of them to move. And my greenhouse is uh, getting full of them. And the rest we put on the porch for now until I can find spaces to put them in here. I've got all my hostas in trays over there. All my amaryllis bulbs. Because I'm letting my amaryllis bulbs dry out naturally so I can store them. Now Jealousy Back Porch is a little dark but uh, you can see where we put all these plants on this table. And we have a bunch of them uh, stored in here on this jealousy porch until we get enough room to put them in the greenhouse.